Look at this. Beauty day. I think the sun might pop through today. Anyways, what's up guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman here. So, you know, we've had that Jeep there the last couple weeks and it's been doing real well with the 4x4 in the mud. So, I figured to myself, I need to find another 4x4. So, look what I found. This, the old twin. <laughs> this thing should be fun. Maybe we can have a tow off. <laughs> Even comes with a Dr. Pepper. See if we can get loader up and get out of here. Hoping the battery's not dead. Because the key fob's dead. Let's see if this thing works. Oh yeah. The old work Jeep. And it's dead, of course. Frick! Oh, free sunscreen. Oh, that's freshy underneath. Found the issue. Just didn't have the battery cable on here. Hopefully that'll help. Round two. People probably think I'm stealing this car. I don't know, she's still dead. All right, we'll turn the truck around and give her a boost. One more attempt. She's got some four juice running through her now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quarter tank, good to go. Let's get her loaded up and get out of here. Oh yeah, beauty day. So I got her boosted, she's good to go. I love where the Jeep spare tire is, like it's the handiest place. It's not underneath corroding and stuff. So let's get uh, some gas in this thing, get her home, and we got a special guest waiting for us at home. Let's do this. Look at this, nine degrees today. <laughs> I don't think we're getting a winner this year. Oh, we got Philip, the old girl. Come on, put some in there too. This 82 cents a liter today. Not too bad. Left off here. Home sweet home for a couple days and then Toronto back to Windsor for New Year's and then I don't know where to. Maybe BC, maybe California. I don't know. I can't keep up. YouTube takes me to a lot of interesting places. So anyways, uh, let's get inside, get ready, we'll go play in the mud. All right, back with the Jeep. What is that weapon? That's the <laughs> anyways, Look who's back. <laughs> Marcus. It's good old Marcus. Yeah, you look more Canadian now. How so? Living in Saskatoon for the last, what, two is months? It, I'm not, I haven't like worn the cowboy jeans and stuff like You don't that, have cowboy so. boots yet? No. Soon. Soon. So anyways, we got some stuff, some late Christmas presents. I don't know if you know about these guys. They're, they're uh, NoCo Genius, basically battery boosters. And obviously we do all the car stuff and we're always, the batteries are always dead. So I've been messaging these guys back and forth. This has been a year process to get these things, but they're finally here. So Marcus, you want to run this? Yep. Actually, I'm going to start with this. Maybe, maybe coming this way. Gotcha. So I was in Detroit for the Christmas market last year and I saw the sweater and I was going to buy it and they didn't have my size or something and I looked for it everywhere. Anyways, I finally found it. And I always make fun of Detroit, but actually it's like, Detroit's really nice downtown. So I bought the sweater to support Detroit. <laughs> Detroit never left. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? That's awesome. Oh, it comes with a little, little bag too. Yeah, little pencil case. I'll keep my pencils in there. That is. Oh, I'm gonna rock that thing everywhere. Got some Freshy Scott lenses. These are, I forget what they're called, photochromatics. So they adjust to the light. So that'll be pretty neat. Oh, stickers. Detroit never left. Anyways, we'll get to the big box now. So, got a nice Christmas card from Stahl. I don't know if you guys remember Stahl, the uh, Norwegian I used to race with there on the snow bikes. Um, but yeah, so these, these are battery boosters to, you know, boost your car, charge your laptop. Um, these are the bigger ones, so they're still pretty small, but they, I believe they'll boost a diesel up to like 80 times or something. I think it's good for about a seven liter diesel engine. And, uh, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about them right now, other than everyone I've talked to that has them says they're unreal. Oh, more boxes. A box inside a box. There'll be more boxes inside you. Looks like you got two of them too. I do. 
because I got 80 cars down there, so I figured get more than one. Right, how do I open this thing? So yeah, everyone I've talked to says these are unreal. Uh, one of the guys at the scrapyard actually has one, and you just plug it, or you basically put it on your battery. It'll show you that it has a voltmeter on it, so. And then you just plug her in and go. Look at these things. Let's get this plastic off here. Let's get our hands on them. Yeah. It'd be nice to have these down there instead of you know, bringing my truck down through the mud every time and boosting these cars. Yeah, this is good for a 10 liter gas and diesel engine. Pretty crazy. 4,000 amps, that's crazy. That's insane. For such a little, little thing. Well, this one's it's a little bigger, but it's still pretty small. So I don't think it's charged or anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's ready to go. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's dead. But uh, yeah, it's got a light on it. USB, you can charge basically anything. And then throw on your batteries and go. So we'll get these things charged up. We'll use them in some later videos. And, uh, but for now, let's get that Jeep unloaded. Throw some air in the tires and go for a rip. Let's do it. So we like to over pressurize all the tires on these vehicles. Because when you're doing dumb stuff like donuts and Rockfords and all that stuff, the we used to have a big issue where all the tires would come off the beads. Like it wouldn't wreck the tire, but they would just, you know, they would basically just pop off the bead and then you gotta take them off, bring them back up. So now we just put a dangerous amount of PSI in there. Explosive amount. Also, if you ever buy an aluminum trailer, don't buy one with removable fenders. This is the second time they've cracked off. Look at this. That's horrible. <laughs> I know, I'm trading Bad this. engineering. I'm hoping to trade this thing in in like a month, get rid of it. Get some uh, fully heavy duty everything. <laughs> All right, let's uh, fill these up and we'll head down. The old race Jeep, yeah, so she's dead. So we just kind of, we're gonna roll it off and um, just boost it. You guys should see underneath this thing, it's crazy. Like, barely any rust, look at that. This does not happen in Canada because we use salt on the roads here. And salt destroys everything. Like my truck's already got rust on it. So anyways, let's, uh, we'll turn this thing around. I would use those new battery boosters, but of course they, they come dead, you gotta charge them. So they're just charging right now. So we'll use them later down the road, but for now we just got boosted with the truck. Got her boosted. Put some heat in the engine. Look at our uh, our hood holder, the old muffler off the F-150. Anyways, I ripped the fuse out for the ABS, so she'll go full lightning mode. <laughs> we got this thing boosted, got the cables, and we tightened those up because they were a little loose, so. Should be good to go. Check your connection on the We got our red there. red. Put these things on backwards so many times before. Nothing. The old girl, right? She's good. All right, let's go for a quick little spin. Gotta love the uh, full time 4x4. <laughs> Got all our stuff in the back, the kit. <laughs> Turns on a time, <laughs> eh? Turns on Full 180. <laughs> the door won't shut because the jack's at the top. All right. We're going a good 60, 70 kilometers an hour. I even put some gas in her this morning. Oh, so you're we so should good. have about half a tank. <laughs> Slop <laughs> city, Jesus. <laughs> Thing's got like a 30 degree angle. Yeah. <laughs> this is why it's so rough with the shredders because there's so many friggin' truck ruts. <laughs> hey, little Royal Pine. Got some trees on deck, baby. Thank <laughs> God for the time 4 by 4 He's <laughs> gonna need some more momentum. Oh man, it is like nasty so we did have snow the other day but it rained and as you can see it all melted and then the water starts at the top of that hill comes all the way down works its way to the river usually stops here so i'm just gonna dick around real quick with this thing and then start a new video all right back to two-wheel drive here we uh we accidentally stalled it and uh, of course we forgot the key for the the original jeep which does have juice so we had to walk back to the truck get the key we're on our way back now. It's all your fault, Mark. It's all my fault. I told you. I said, get the key. Look at this mud, <laughs> though. 
Sloppy it's like three inches of sloppy. <laughs> you like float on it with the jeans. I know. Anyways, we'll get this thing boosted and then we'll rep her up. That's right. There we go. We're basically sponsored by Jeep now. We got Jeep 1, Jeep 2, Jeep 3. And I came flying through here, made it up, and then it stalled. Now it won't start. <laughs> We're just struggling today. We're eh? in Jeep trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jeep trouble. <laughs> Uh, you want to hold that? I think we had a bad connection. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can get one going. This isn't going to look. This isn't going to look very good for a Jeep commercial. Nope. <laughs> uh, Jeepers creepers. Hmm. Hmm. What's it going to be? Seem wow. to have. Seem to have a bit of an issue. Kind of wiggle that ground because that one's our issues. The ground one, because it's so loose and broken. Try it. Spiking. Apparently, this one just had to sit for a minute. So now we're trying to start that one. Apparently, the gauges don't work either. We're good. All right, we're two jeeps up. Here we go. Yank her up. <laughs> Moving. I figure it's time to get this Jeep out of here. <laughs> oh, Jeeps are fun. Is that good? Keep her going. Stalder. Oh, well, you ran over the hook too. <laughs> All right, that's probably good. And of course, we had another overheating issue. So I think we there's a leak in this rad, so. We're using that premium coolant though. Yeah, this is called the brown coolant. It's kind of like, like purple power or green machine or whatever the hell they call it, but this it's is brown. better. Yeah, it's, this it's is a little better. thicker, so you know, it stays, it stays cool longer. It holds on to the, uh, the coolness, so. Is she full? Well, it's draining down, but where's the reservoir? Might as well fill a little bit in there too. Is that it? Or is that the washer? No, it's... Fill everything up. Yep. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm getting situated on the top of this pile so that I can uh, get uh, good footage without getting muddy. I don't know what you're doing out there, Mark. What a Ken Block action. Well, I bet you you can't climb this hill. Right into the rhubarb. Oh yeah. Just run over a bunch of tires. Look at that one there by its front axle. You're pushing a tire, bud. <laughs> You're pushing a tire. Go in reverse, dude. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that was funny. Oh, a little bit of sliding. Oh, is he coming to do a burn? 
burnout. Okay. I'm into that. All-wheel drive burnout. It's too soggy to burn. It's too wet. It's not going to cause smoke. Plus, some two wheel drive action. Still not going to burn. Cool! Do you want to bring them down here? Let